ever since our island people could remember, Bora Bora had been the home of the gods. Home of Kanaloa, king of the underworld. Of Pele, the little mother of volcanoes. Of Taora, god of the ocean waters, god of the winds and the storms. Of Mano, the shark, who guided his children through secret pathways of the sea when they were lost. And of great Kane, father of the universe and all that lived therein. And so it remained, until in the days of Kanakor the king, there came upon the people of this island the most terrible anguish that can afflict the spirit of man, a time when the gods began to change. For in that day there arose a new god, whose appetite for human sacrifice heaped the altars high with his dead, Oro, Oro whose eyes were the eyes of death. So King Kanakoa called together his people and said, This new god, this Oro, is a god of vengeance and wrath. Let us run away from him. The state canoe of Bora Bora was the swiftest vessel in all the oceans of the world. They filled it with roots and seeds to plant in a new land, which legend told them lay far to the north. From its holy place, they took the sacred stone, the image of gentle Kani, and guided by Mano the shark, set out through uncharted seas towards the unknown, until at last they approached the shores of a land never seen before by the eyes of man, the glowing land that was Hawaii. 